Uh, basically, the smart board can even the playing field. So we can have our lower functioning students intermix with our higher functioning students working on the same task, taking turns, things like that. We can work on with the lower functioning while the higher functioning aren't bored, so to speak, with maybe the lower task. But it really allows the kids to be engaged even when the academic material might be a little higher for them. Um, so especially with the age gap we have, you know, six to ten. So, you know, the six-year-olds might not socially interact with a ten-year-old on a typical day, but once they're in smart board group, they can all raise their hand, they can all take a turn, they can all, you know, participate. It's everywhere from like your basic math facts and letters and numbers and blending and sounds to social things. Um, it's a lot easier to show a kid a face, uh, scared, happy, sad, and then actually have them go up to the board and manipulate that face and put it under a category uh, versus just trying to explain it to them. So any sort of two-dimensional task that we do on paper or we cut things out or we need to manipulate numbers, letters, any of those things, we try to transfer it to the smart board so that it's interactive for the kids. Um, that way, instead of being sitting at their desk, you know, one at a time, we can actually take a group to the smart board, have them manipulating things. So if we wanted to throw out a new activity, it took, you know, two weeks to plan it, to cut it out, to get the staff to go laminated, to do all those things. Whereas now, you know, a 20 minute search on the internet and you can find an activity for what you're talking about and it could be in the next day. Uh, so it really cuts down on that time that's needed to prepare iPads are proliferated through all of these kids' lives. Uh, smartphones, uh, iPads, any type of tablet, they're pretty proficient at it. You know, you might have a student that can't read very well or they can't, you know, do math, but then you give them a tablet and they're punching out numbers and they're finding websites and they're scrolling through stuff. So to take that from just a reinforcer like the iPad and they're watching a, a cartoon or they're doing something like that, and then morphing it into it's an activity with built-in videos, with built-in reinforcement, we're kind of getting the academic piece plus the reinforcer. So it kind of blends the two and the kids kind of learn without feeling like they're learning. Uh, it, it makes it so much easier to kind of put a picture up there of what you want as opposed to individually going to every you know, ITA and saying like, okay, here's how we're gonna do it today, here's how we're gonna do it today. We could throw up a PowerPoint on that, they can scroll through it and then know what they're doing. Um, and then they use the exact same thing for their student at the smart board. So it's, you don't lose that, you know, how do we do this in the cubby or how do we do this in the gym? It's the smart board. Um, so it's a good training tool for, for the staff as well as for the kids. So it's kind of a win-win all around.